It was a very transitional time for Supertramp in the mid-80s. Roger Hodgson went off, recorded his first solo album, and Rick Davies was left as the only lead singer. And he recorded what I think is the best album they did after Roger left, Brother, Where You Bound. We talk about Roger's album, and here's John Haleywell. Well, Cannonball was a great le- single to sort of say, yeah, we're still here. The video was amazing. I don't know how much money that cost, but that was crazy. Yeah. It was an interesting, interesting one. Part of it was done at the Santa Barbara Bowl. Um, yeah, I remember, I remember filming there. Yeah, yeah, it was good, good time and, and a serious time. And we, I think we made our mark. Obviously, it wasn't as popular as as, as in America, but we were forging ahead. But it stands out as a, a, a true, strong to me, a Super Tramp album. It really did. Yeah. Yes. What did you think of Roger's first album? I'm almost done here, but what do you think of Roger's In the Eye of the Storm? Did you listen to it? Were you able to be objective because you were so close to? Well, I listened to it, and, and some, there was one or two of the tunes that we'd already played around, you know, around with, with Supertramp. And um, interestingly enough, he asked me if I would play on it, and I said no. I said, I don't think I should, because you want to just get a, a bit away from Supertramp. You want to be Roger Hodgson. I know you're a big part of Supertramp. But uh, if you have me on it as well, then it's going to sound a bit too much like Supertramp, probably. So he heeded, well, he did. He had to heed what my uh, what I said, because I didn't go and play, play on it. But um, I thought that was a good idea, really. But I like his yeah. tunes. Yeah, he's a good tunesmith, and he's a he's a great uh, vocalist, a great harm, harmonian. It's, what do you call it? Some you harmonizing harmon uh, harmonies. Yeah, harmonizing. Yeah. yeah. I, have you kept? Have you kept? Uh, like uh, I was talking to. I don't know. You you probably uh, 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 what's his name? David Menenhall. Oh, yeah. I know David. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's um, he's probably got a, he's probably got a poster that says that, that says says he's done. Yeah, I've never seen so much super tramp memorabilia. We did a video of just follow going through his room. Oh, of, I imagine it's amazing. I, I've seen him a thing of him sitting in his room, you know, with all the yeah. stuff on the walls. Yeah, he it's amazing what he's got. Do you there's keep a, any of that stuff? There's a, there's a guy in Paris. Um, as well, who I call the the dude Fabrice, and he's got a lot of super chance. Oh, is he the guy who just interviewed uh, Rick uh, like last year? Someone interviewed Rick. No, no, that, I think that's an Italian guy. I don't know who he he was. Uh, but do, do you, were you asking if I have stuff? Yeah, yeah, I've got in the garage. I've got about twenty six boxes of stuff. It's, but it's not sorted, so who knows what's in and what, what it is. There's, there is stuff. Wow. I call it stuff because stuff doesn't really mean anything. You know, it's, it, it's it's all there. Yeah, but if you own it too, I mean, obviously it's more valuable because it's actually yours. You know, that's the thing. Yeah, the, 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 I, 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 I come across things. There's there's some good ones in the diary. I used to, I used to keep a diary, but... Usually all it said was Manchester, Folkestone, London. That's that's all it would say, you know. There wouldn't be. It, it's not. It's not my feelings or anything. For example, on March the second, nineteen seventy, it says, "Got married." That's it. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> no, but in the in the in the Paris in the Paris promo, I just watched that video t- this morning. You you do mention you have at least half a page when you were playing the live uh, the the live show in Paris. You said you had a journal and you you had a you had a, oh, a journal. Yeah, I tried to keep a journal at uh, one time, and um, I think I wrote that spiel spiel whatever they call it. Yeah. I think I wrote it just for the for the Paris album. But I like I like to keep um, a, a record sometimes, and way back. In 1977, I decided that I would do a photographic record of touring. So what was I going to do? I thought, well, I will take a photograph of me in the bedroom, in, in, the, in, the, in the hotel room, looking out 
the window, whatever the view is. So I did that for the entire tour. And then I made a book of the of, the fo of some of the photographs of, of that. So that was a record with a little spiel on it. And then two years later, I, I tried to do a, a record of breakfasts. As we started off touring in America, breakfast in America, I thought, well, I'll take a photograph of breakfast. But I did about six or seven, and they were all the same. And so I gave I gave up that project. So I haven't done a, a real record of touring uh, that, that's of any worth, really, since 1977. Don't Ever Leave Me is the brand new album from John Halliwell, formerly of Supertramp. I still don't say formerly because I can't accept the fact that the band broke up in 2015. But you just, just never know. I'm always holding on to hope. A one-off show? More from John Helliwell in the next two, three days. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music. Take care of yourself.